What's going on, guys? Starting the video earlier uh, than, than usual this time. Usually we just start the video and we jump right into the draft. But today we're going to do a little bit of a drunk stream. I'm not going to. I'm not sure how drunk it's going to get uh, because Mike. Uh, well, first off, Mike's a big dude, and second off, this is we bought some some Lagavulin. Sixteen. Lagavulin sixteen. Sixteen year aged. Um, so this is basically the Ron Swanson of of scotches. And uh, I'm not a drinker. I don't. I don't really drink. I don't. So this is going to be uh, interesting to me. I can't. I can't. I'm not. I'm, I'm not going to be drinking a ton. I'm just going to try it because it's a classy experience. Mike is drinking the water out of his cup right now, uh, making sure to preserve the experience of a hundred dollar, uh, hundred dollar scotch, which is uh, you know you want to you want to make sure you get your glass nice and watered. And <clears throat> now we're gonna I'm gonna give it a little go. Eater, eater. Oh. Yeah, it's fragrant, boy. <laughs> Ooh. All right. There you go. Knock yourself out. Well, don't don't go too crazy, cause I'm not gonna go crazy, you little bitch. Wow. That's rude. Just enough to cover the ice. There we go. I hope this goes sideways. I don't know what that means. It's real fragrant. Oof. This is uh, it's a little strong. Smoky <laughs> rubber alcohol. What did you call me? Did you call me a name? I may have. <laughs> Wallet well, says you did. I didn't. I don't remember what it was. I forgot to use the word Mitch. I used the other word. Oh, that's fine. You can do that. <clears throat> Not as strong as I thought it would be. Really. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, I wow. told you totally didn't have to do that, man. I was gonna actually say I don't want you to pay half because that's <laughs> all, that's ridiculous. Um, I guess you beat me to it. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. Um, you said not as strong as you thought it'd be. No, but for you, it might be a real strong. Yeah, that's definitely an acquired taste. <laughs> we, just, we just had hot. We just had tacos, and the sauce they gave us was a little hotter than the usual sauce. And my eyes watered more right now than they did when I had those tacos. Wow. What do you think? I don't know. What do you taste? Put a few drops of water into it, and that's good. I actually have some water right here. There you go. We got a little water in there. It spilled a little bit, but that's how pouring water works. Alright, well. Grimacing Buddha, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Alright. Actually, maybe you pouring it on ice and me drinking it straight might have been a different uh, taste, different different taste experience there. <clears throat> no, it's pretty strong. I mean, I like whiskey, so Whew. I'm kind of used to a strong flavor like that. I don't know what to make of it. I feel like my initial reaction is almost insulting, but it, I know it's because I'm not, my palate is not accustomed drinker, to yeah. alcohol, yeah, right? So I'm like, tastes kind of like rubbing alcohol. Like I, I don't have the, the, the drinker's palate. So it's hard to really adequately, um, <clears throat> yeah, this is, this is something I'm trying to find it. Like I'm trying to find like what's appealing about like, just, just drinking this casually and having a good... Yeah, Lagavulin's Lava, Lava, kind of a good beginner scotch. I was actually watching some videos because I like to uh, totally prepare myself for uh, for the things. If I, if I buy something nice, I like to do a lot of reviews and a lot of make a lot of, lot of of research on it. And uh, one of the people... One of the, one of the reviews said like it was not an entry-level scotch. Uh, which was good to know, but it might have been a little too much. <clears throat> a little too late, rather, is what I meant to say. 
I drink a lot and I'm still the farthest from offended because straight single malt can smack in the face. Okay, that's good to know. So, yeah, like, I don't want to feel like... It's weird because it's kind of alienating. You're like, well, what don't I get that all these other people are like get that they enjoy this? <sighs> Grimacing Buddha, much love, buddy. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Woo! Should have spent that $100 on the California Kush and had some real... <laughs> Oh, the old Kush stream. How you doing over there? I had a couple sips. Have you? Yeah. How do you feel about it? I, I like it. I mean, I like whiskey, so. Yeah? Yeah. You're going to... It's, you... it's a little... It is a bit smoky, uh, see, as they say. See, you're... That's funny you say that, because I don't taste... I don't taste it. I'm not picking it up, because right. I don't know what to look for. You can't get you can't get in front of the alcohol, right? Like, it's just, that's you're just a, tasting the fire. I think that's what it is, yeah. yeah. That's 100% what it is. But I am drinking on the rocks, which is which makes a difference. Logavillain wakes up after three turns and does like 18 points of damage per turn. <laughs> I don't, ah, is it okay to link you an article about whiskey and the reasoning for drops water? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. <coughs> Someone said you're supposed to drink water in between drink, in between glasses? Yeah, clean that palate. Oh, put it on the rocks. I actually made fun of Mike because I was like, hey man, just have it straight like a man. Just be a man about it. And here I am, I'm like, maybe that's the way to do it. I don't know. I mean, I've had whiskey straight. I've never had scotch straight. It's a it's like the a, the, even the aroma is like extremely strong. Oh yeah. Woo! It melts your ice really fast too. Let's get into the draft. We can actually talk about this while we're drafting. Yeah. Hopefully, you guys are still with us on the YouTube's. Hopefully, that was entertaining enough. It's good I feel with like chocolate. Hmm. Oh, that was that was beautifully fast. All right, what are we taking here? We got this Commander Isha, Aisha. Nantuko Monastery. We got Phantom Centaur. Phantom Centaur is pretty good. Oh, I don't. I thought that was like the, the stream going down. I was like, oh no, that's terrible. It was actually just a Logitech update. And your brush shopper is okay. Can't stop the feeling. Best stream ever, bits. Wow, that's a that's a bold claim, but I will I will take it. Zaxor, as oh as always, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. McCallan is generally easy to drink. No disagreement. Uh, if you guys need to sit and watch them eat chocolate, smoke meats, and drink scotch instead of MTGO. Oh, man. How about Jesus instead? Water I'm not a big meat fan. The but... palate is to stay hydrated and avoid a bad hangover. Yeah, that's fair. Man, that's what I said. Stupid. Did you say that? I didn't say that. Okay. Yeah, I said that. I like Phantom Centaur. I think it's probably Phantom Centaur. It's a good boy. Mike, I hope you have some Pedialyte. <laughs> you can... Our roommate Felipe keeps a lot of Gatorade in his trunk, specifically so he doesn't get a hangover. So uh, we can just get some Gatorade from from Felipe. <sighs> oh, you have the metal rocks? Yeah, that's one way to keep it cold. Recovering alcohol gear triggered and blocked. Wow. Oh, God, I hope that's not true. I don't want to trigger anybody. Wait, so is this not a Hungry Howie's eating on stream? You know it's not. But it could be one day. One, one day. What's the, How you doing? You okay? Some makeups. Already? Well, I think it's because I think I ate a little too much. You ate a little too much? Yeah. I think if you're instead of you control a creature, it deals too much to add. Target creature plans are sure. That's fine. We have a phantom centaur. I'm going to get some water. All right. And I'm gonna get some stuff to make a little mixy. Oh, he's gonna, yeah, he's he's done with drinking it straight apparently, like a little baby. Hey man, whatever, it tastes delicious. <clears throat> yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I want to take this fire stoker. I think it's probably the better pick. Oh, scape shift. That's not gonna be the pick. Yeah, Neon took your end. Congrats, buddy. Keep it up. Uh, use my experience as uh, as a helpful reminder that. I just, it, there's nothing to it. I don't understand it. And. Yeah, I don't get it. I wish I did. I wish I did. I made a Facebook post recently about, like, what people, uh,. What are things like you wish you could appreciate more that other people seem to? <clears throat> and my answers were sushi and and beer, but I think more specifically alcohol because alcohol has a lot of there's a lot of artistry in alcohol, and people seem to really appreciate it. 
but I don't know what to actually like. I don't appreciate it myself. So. Oh, all right. Green red seems to be pretty good. We got a signet. We got a burning tree blood scale. We got a street breaker worm merino. Even this guy's. I'm just gonna take the rule signet. I think it's probably the best. And maybe one of these guys comes back. Signet's pretty good. Gulp it to the back of your. I like. I so so. So right now, I really can't tell if you guys are trolling me or if you're giving me actual suggestions. So keep that in mind. <clears throat> Zaxor, have a good night, buddy. Thanks so much for the bits. Really appreciate it. You are awesome, as you know. I'm gonna close this door. Yeah, that's probably a wise idea. Mike decided to start his dryer his dryer uh, cycle immediately as we started streaming. So, well, I forgot. Uh, <clears throat> that's advice. Don't switch it. Interesting, because I, when I was watching people review it, they switched it a lot to try to get all the flavors and see where it hits and stuff like that. Same with like coffee, you know, or what what have you. I don't think that's a beginner's move, though. It might not be. That might be the trick. It might just be growth spasm here. This guy's good, but I don't think he's gonna. I don't think we're gonna see many many spawners. No, don't. No. Oh, all right, all right. You guys are. See, there's some conflicting opinions here in the chatterino. Well, this pack's pretty rough. So we got a one one flyer for one, a two one for two, a fire breathing, a shatter. Oh, Entangling Mines is actually good, right? Yeah, that's just removal. All right. That's actually surprisingly good. Would you say that you have tried a lot of different types of alcohol? I would not. I am not a drinker at all in any in any capacity. Um, I've tried different brands of diet soda. I would say I've tried a lot of diet Cokes and <laughs> diet diet Mountain Dews and things like that, if that's if that's similar. I don't think it I is. I don't think so. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. <clears throat> One drunken laundry buck. That is... That is accurate, my friend. That is accurate. I think we're just going to take the removal spell. Yeah, it definitely cuts the edge off of it. What did you add? Diet Coke? Uh, no. Uh, Sprite and a little lemon juice. A little lemon juice, too. Wow, get a load of this guy. Should you be mixing Lagavulin with a, with with Sprite and, and lemon juice, guys? It's a whiskey Tom Collins. It's a thing. So. Oh, Colossal well, Dreadmaw? I supposed to use club soda, but I mean, the difference between club soda and 7-Up is like... They're pretty similar, right? I don't think so, man. It's a no-go. Yeah, that sounds fine. No, damn you, Mike. Totally ruined it. Whatever, man. <clears throat> it tastes delicious. Mike, you're killing the whiskey. You're killing the whiskey, guys, in the chat here. Single malts are not to be ruined with mixing. Your house, your rules. Mike, stop with Chief Scott. Sure. Mike, please. <laughs> oh. The thing is, like, you can still definitely take the whiskey. Or the scotch, rather. Well... I didn't think you wouldn't be able to. Listen, it's your bottle. You guys do what you please. That's that's true. However, I don't know what's correct, right? Like, like if I was like if I was driving my car and I'm like, hey man, should I put it in? Should I drive it while while the parking brakes on? I mean, it is one thing to say it's your car. You can do whatever you want. But there is a uh, you know a more correct way and a less correct way to do it. So. I wouldn't do it if you if you recommend against it. Uh, you lose all but one life. <laughs> what the sh what? No, dude. When it enters the battlefield, you lose all but one life. For a one mana discount on a six six. Yeah, I'm, I'm out. Eh, no bueno. All right, the next pack is gonna be the good green green red one, right? <clears throat> Are you saying you'll be listen? You will listen. You'll be listening to chat suggestion tonight. Something is wrong here. Hey, buddy, listen. I listen to your suggestions when it comes to some things. This is not my area of expertise. So, there is something about like holding a, a glass though. That's that has a sixteen year old liquid in it. You know, like that's there's something to be said for that. You got your mic on. All right, just making yeah, sure you weren't drunk. So. Choose a creature or deals damage equal to the number of permanents you control the chosen type. Centaur spirit, frog beast, dinosaur, human I've heard of scotch and coffee. I don't know, that sounds extreme though. I got scotch in my coffee and y'all so vain. The holding of the glass is cathartic. Yeah, I can I can see that. I can get behind that. You may sacrifice for all draws rather than pay its mana cost. It is a nine mana seven seven. Yeah, we're just gonna take Ben Sentinel. Oh, fire breathing. That's never getting picked. 
I bet you think this scotch is a bad house. I don't think going to make the cut either. How dare you? You don't know how many walls I'm going to get. One suntory time bug. <laughs> What's a suntory? What is suntory? Is that a liquid? Is that an alcohol? I believe that's an alcohol. Yeah, it's a Japanese whiskey. There you go. Uh. Oh, divinity of the pride. I wish I was white. Wow. That was topical. <laughs> Flying lifelink 4 4. Divinity of the pride gets plus 4 plus 4 as long as you 20 more. Yeah, even, even as a 5 5 4 4 flyer with lifelink O. Pretty good. <clears throat> what is this bullet joint hatchling? Whenever you cast a red spell and remove a counter from it, it is a 6 6 first strike, but it's actually a 2 2 first strike. Make some coffee, put some brown sugar in, top with whipped cream. That's literally just a. Was that just an Irish cream? She forgot to add the scotch to it, though. <laughs> She's like, no, that's it. That's all you need. I want to take this puncture blast. It's very, very good. Have you and have you never seen? I have seen Lost in Translation. Uh, it was a while ago, though. So if well, I don't remember, I saw that's it in, a, in a class. But I, I saw it in a glass. This card seems very good, right? Uh, two five four five. Um, and then whenever a forest enters the battlefield, you can return it to your hand. Oh, that does seem really good. So, like, you just keep getting two fives? I like that. Yeah, I'm taking that. What is this idiot? Oh, this is the four five that, like, for six mana, you can put a counter on it. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, return another permanent you control to its owner's hand. Do we have anything that benefits from that? Maybe Phantom Centaur? Just pour yourself a white Russian. Hold it visible on camera all stream and make my everyone call you the dude. Yeah, that's just your opinion, man. Silver creatures you control have menace. This is just a 2-2 with menace. Oh, it actually makes our War Spike Changeling have menace like as scotch? well. I like it. I like it. <clears throat> Wait, so you don't remember every detail from a 25-year-old movie? That is correct. Although I would like to, because it does have Scarlett Johansson and Bill Murray in it, so... Whenever this blocks, put a 1-1 counter. I remove a counter. It can't be blocked this turn. Untap an artifact. Creature. Draw. Manit modular 3. Hey, man, you got any coasters in here? Any coasters? Why do you need more than one? How many coasters do you need, man? Exactly two. Okay. I'll, I'll give it to you. Mike just took my coaster. Well, yours doesn't need one, right? <clears throat> no, but that doesn't mean you should have it, okay? <laughs> it's still my coaster. Might just be dark steel ingot. I like that no one's actually, uh... No one's actually paying attention to the draft. I think we're all just talking about scotches. Scotchies! Oh man, Nourish. Gain six life or two. Can't no one's... It. Yeah, you can. Dark stealing it? That's a good card. Never a player plays an artifact or a player gains control. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I think it's just dark stealing it. <clears throat> Leaves us a little bit open to other things. We also have gross spasm, so we could splash something pretty easily. Yeah, I'm going to put Lost in Translation somewhere in the 2000s. Definitely not the 90s. Yeah, I don't think it was 25, but it was still old. There are clouds in my sky. <laughs> Yo, Mike B. Also, all slivers have Provoke could be good, especially because we already have a Belligerent Sliver and a War Spike Changeling. Giving this guy Provoke is pretty strong. Make your one guy block. Yeah. Uh, any sort of making instruments if they have flash. Nope, don't care about that. Yeah, I think it's probably the pick. This guy's also good, but I think this guy's pretty good. Icar Wellspring? Do we have a way to, like, sacrifice an artifact? Ah, oh, boy. I don't know what to make of this. God, I really want to appreciate it so much more than I do. Gonna be nervous in that one, boy. No, you're right. I'm gonna take the Sacred Wellspring. <clears throat> we don't have any any synergies yet, but there's nothing else we'd play in that pack. Spike Shot Goblin. Oh wow, that's a nice pickup. Oh boy. Oh boy. Destroy an artifact. Add three green. So this is basically free, man. Yeah. Freeman. A Gordon Freeman. <clears throat> Might have old crows though. Oh, Magma Jet? Dang. Our deck is looking spicy. Spicy. Uh, is it getting better as you have more? Not really. 
Well, that is the only way to acquire taste. Is it? Should I just yeah. finish the bottle, you think? Um, well, we'll be sending you to the hospital, if that's what you want. Lock water rushing over Rocky Falls, barley malted over moorland peat, slow distillation and long maturation in oak casks, all help us to shape Lagavulin's robust and smoky character. Time, say the islanders. Takes out the fire, but leaves in the warmth. <clears throat> well, that's that's a way of putting it. What are we drinking? We're drinking Lag Lagavulin 16. It's a, it's a Ron Swanson of Scotch whiskeys. It's a pretty bottle. I think that's a, that, that's most alcohols, right? Like alcohols are really one thing I do love um, about about alcohol is their packaging is always top tier. Like we were in the liquor liquor store today, and I just wanted to buy stuff based on their packaging, and that is super uh, dangerous. I think. Dark creature gets plus four, plus four until end of turn. Retrace me, cast this from your graveyard by discard. Wow, that actually seems really good, right? Like it's just a four, four trick. It's just plus four, plus four, but it's a sorcery, I guess. That's pretty bad. But still, you put on a one, one every turn. You discard land, get my guy plus four, plus four. Jason, I didn't even see your question, buddy. How is the Clan McLapore? Oh, we're good. We're good. We didn't get any Clan McGregor, though, if that's what you're curious about. I'm just going to take this monster five. This is another option. A 2-2 two, two for 3 that gives a green creature plus 1 plus 1. We don't have a ton of green creatures, though, so. Giant spells cost 2 less to cast. Ooh. No, that's not good. I'll just take a salad. Oh, I could taste it when I burp there. Your drink was made around the same time as Lost in Translation. <laughs> wow, yeah, that's, that's a good... Wow. That's true. It's very strange. I'm going to look up Lost in Translation. Losing in Translation. <clears throat> what do we got here? Um, destroying equipment, if that... Or destroying artifact. I'm going to take the, the destroying artifact. It's a little bit better. 2003. So 15 years exactly. Yeah, that's something. I don't know if you guys figured it out. Oh, uh, we definitely mentioned that. Look, another sliver. This is all coming together, man. We definitely mentioned that Ron Swan. It was the Ron Swanson of alcohols. Yeah, this bottle was a hundred dollars, so they get a little cheaper online. But what do we get? Oh, a Slith Predator is the last pick. Wow, that's all right. Doesn't seem that bad. Shivan Reef. <clears throat> Minotaur Tactician. It gets plus one plus one as long as you can control a white creature or a blue creature. Don't care about either of those. Not going to be activating this. Whenever a player casts a blue spell, don't care about that. <sighs> Amazing. You may put a multicolored creature from your hand on the battlefield. We have zero. This pack is pretty bad. I'm tempted to just take this guy and splash it off of like. But then we'd have to like have an island in our deck for the growth spasm. It might just be Herdenar, but it's just worse than this guy, right? Cavernous Moss Beast. I'm sure I'm not missing anything. I mean, it could just be End Disciple in the sense that, like, we have Darksteel Ingot so we can activate it occasionally, maybe? Or we can just take Shivan Reef and then maybe splash a blue guy. It's, that's really I think sad. That's the best pick, I guess. Yeah, there's nothing. This pack is not good for us, so. Ooh, Predator's <clears throat> Grasp. Predator's Grasp. Just another, just another more side card. Mm -hmm. It's one of the better ones. Is it? I mean, you know, because you're a commander guy, so. So no, it's not even good at commander, right? Yeah, it is. Search for an excellent face down that player shuffles me. Look at the card. Oh, oh, it is actually. Oh, because you're actually just playing it. And you don't have to, like, name a card. You just search it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, boy. <laughs> what is Ad Command Scotch? What is... Oh, you oh you linked it. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. All right. Is it hot in here? Is it hot in here? Yeah. Not really. You could turn down the AC if you want. I ain't gonna stop you. I ain't your dad. 
Maybe this pack's also pretty bad. Had a little too much scotch. Already? Not like drunkenness wise, but like. I'm just gonna take this. I don't. There's nothing in this pack that we care about. We already have 23 playables. Oh, acidic slime, goblin bang chuckers. Uh, two two for four. Hold a coin if you win the flip. Goblin bang chuckers deals two damage to any target. If you lose it, it deals two damage to itself. That's that's just terrible. Big 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 big. Uh, Probably just, acidic slime. Yeah, I like I like a scissor a scissic slime as Mike would say. Oh, Z Zadak, Lord of Secrets. Mike, you better not brank Frank's AC. It's been broken enough. Uh, it's my AC too, thank you. Oh, he said my, he better not brank my AC, so you can tell it's getting to him a little bit. He's he's getting... A little bit, yeah. It's, I mean, it's strong, man. He's getting there. It's 43% alcohol, so... I'm on glass too, man. Yeah, but yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but not that much, right? I think I poured a little more than, than you in the first one, too. Oh, you definitely did. Um... That's what I'm here for, right? Are you not entertained? Are you, are you not entertained? entertained? Every time, Brian, every time you say Mike B. or Riot, I always, I always read it as Mike Boriot, and I'm like, who's Mike Boriot? I read, I read it as Mike Bur Burrito. Oh, that's that's interesting. Wait, are we finding out that Frank is a chatty? Am I drunk? Oh my god. I'm just going <laughs> to take Centaur not. Safeguard. You're definitely not. You're not talking at all. Just shut up. I'm also not drunk. I had a very, very little amount. Yeah, I don't think you get a drunk off one glass. Although, I'll be honest with you, I've never been drunk. So I can't tell you when that moment takes place. Will I know? Oh, you'll know. <laughs> Will I really? Yeah, you get a feeling in your head. You can like... You get a feeling in your head. You feel heavier. I don't know how to explain it. Like fatter? Well, no, but just like you weigh more. So, yeah, fatter, I guess. When Tom Chairman blocks or becomes blocked, that creature loses first strike. Oh, thank goodness. No problem. We'll tell you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I would not recommend, I cannot uh, encourage drinking the whole bottle considering the cost. It is not a drink in one night kind of, whatever, I'll take this. I don't think it's great, but. Unless one of us wants to die tonight. It's like a poor man's Thran Dynamo. Oh, Nightshade Smut Peddler. As long as Nightshade's Peddler is paired with any creature, they get Death Touch. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, that guy's pretty good. <laughs> oh, we also have... Hold on. Combo! Mm. I can get rid of this Wellspring. I can get rid of Thalid for now. That is a good combo. Com it's connected to the leg bone. That is. The combo is connected. Oh, I like a 3-3 Hexproof for 4. That's gotta be better than Venti. Look, there's a 3-3 Hexproof for 4. Or there's a 3-3 three, three for 4. I'll go with the Hexproof. I also don't care about 4-5 for 6 that has 7 mana, put a counter on it. When I have 6-6 six, six for 6 that just has Trample naturally. Timberpack Wolf seems legit. I agree with you. I agree with you. 135 proof? So divide that by 2. It's like 60, 67 or 60, yeah, 67.5. strong. That's pretty ridiculous. Old man bog strider. Proof on this bad boy is. It's like well, it's forty three percent, so it's probably like eighty six. Forty three, yeah. Yeah, right here, it's on the bottle. You just double it. Whenever a player casts a goblin, yeah, this guy's fine. It's not great, but none of these other cards are great either. So. I skipped any kind of dining tonight and ate a porterhouse T-bone. And I know you don't eat much meat, but I was in heaven for a while, except for back pain. Wooden booths with a movable tail. Yeah, wooden booths are weird, man. What is the cost for the Frank needs to be super drunk stiff draft? Um, it's pretty high. I've never been drunk before, and I, I, I don't like the idea of being drunk on stream. Um, that would be so funny. Would it be? Probably. What it, I don't know. I don't know how kind of drunk you are. I don't either. It'd be you an experiment. Be, what if you're mean? That's what I mean. It could be a real scary experience. I could give out my biggest secrets and... <laughs> I don't know what they'd be, but... Oh, I actually probably could have taken Master Splicer, but whatever. Look, this is a Hunter Sliver. Hunter. Oh. Yo, can we get some Hunters in the chat? Oh, I got a real hunter right here. He's like, yeah, I heard you. I heard you say my name. Hey, cutie. Want some scotch? <laughs> You're not building an arc anytime soon. What does that mean? I'm drinking water tonight. Fight me. No way, man. I love a good water. 
I love a good vintage water. I drafted the last night and haven't built the deck yet, but the key card is Phantom Swiss Draft. And this Phantom Swiss Draft is Ghastly Conscription. Whew. That's a good that's a good gentleman. Hire the proof to hire the a hired aged in in the Rick House. Is that true? Rick House. Dredge three. It's it's my it's a Rick House. You you were too soon, you're too early. I don't really drink anymore because of the type of drug. That's a legit reason. I don't drink anymore because I don't really appreciate the taste. And by any more, I mean ever. There's all these white cards. This turn and next turn, creatures can attack and players and permanents can't be the target spells. Target creature gains first strike, destroy an aura. Yeah, we'll just take the charmy charm. I have never drank at Really? Is that true, Brian? It's a Rick house. I had a guy in my training class who had never had alcohol or coffee in his life. He's never tried either. Mother of God. Not Both even of coffee? Yeah. Five Neon Tokyo Rain Bucks. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Love you, too. I hope this is not uh, problematic for you. 100% genuinely. We talked about that when you came. Did we, did we? Did you mention that to me? Now I feel bad. All right, now it's time to drink my eight ounces of water. As recommended. As recommended. Why is there a white card? Oh, we don't care about that. So I think it's just 10 7. We have Gruel Signet and Dark Steel Ingot. We have no double red cards. Seems fine. Scarlet Pit Solix says creatures with power less than it can't block it. It's not great. The thing about this guy is you want to put like an Eldrazi conscription on it, then nothing can ever block it. Now I really have to go stay drunk, don't throw up a bit. <laughs> Zaxor, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are the best. I saw Chaos Drafts, but you had me a drunk mic. That's all we're that's all we want. <clears throat> we're not gonna win this draft because we passed two llamas, did we? I didn't see one llama. Oh, we gotta hit the play button. My bad. All right, we're going again. We're going back once more into the breach, my friends. I think I have to use the restroom. <laughs> I'm not a drinker, <laughs> dude. Your reaction when you go... <laughs> it's just not good. I mean, not the, not the scotch. The scotch isn't good. My reaction is just not good. We'll be back. Mike's got to... He's going to break the seal already. Whew. Well, this hand's not very good. Your reaction is like when I give my dogs peanut butter. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Oh, yeah, I'll keep that on tippity top. On the tippity top. I'm normally the only alcoholic drink I've ever had was a shot of whiskey while serving my two-year mission in Peru. Wow, that's awesome, dude. In my defense, I didn't know what was I was giving, and I'd only been there a couple months and didn't speak Spanish very well. <laughs> Avid Fiction, what did you think of it? What were your, what were your feelings on it? Alcohol just tastes bad. It's not you. This has literally been my feeling about alcohol. Like, that's the one reason I don't actually like it. I just don't appreciate the taste of alcohol. It was my stir con God, my stir cons does that dude again. Forest. Okay. You know what? I accept. It burned all the way down. That gave it away. Yeah, you're like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Something's not something's fishy here. Alright, we're gonna look for some lands here and kill this. I don't know what it is, but it's gotta go. Oh, this is this is great. Uh, we have a land for next turn, so I think we just want the Gruel Signet. If we play Forest, we can play Belligerent Sliver, but if we play... I guess we can go land Belligerent Sliver anyway. Or we can try to hit Acidic Slime when they have three colors. I think we're doing that. I feel like I was rolling it around in my mouth before and someone was like, don't do it. 
And I was like, oh, for real? So next time we're going to have a forest, we can go two for Signet, Forest, and then we can actually play Bark Ripper too. So we're actually just going to play this guy this turn. Because maybe we can get some damage in. And War Spike Changing is a little better when we have Belligerent Sliver. If you guys are linking to the Family Guy, mm-hmm. It is not correct. It's not it. That's not it. No, the one I, the one I, so, so like two or three YouTube comments also linked me to that family guy. Mm hmm. And that's not it. The one I'm thinking of is a lot more high pitch. It's like, mm -hmm. it almost like, it almost rises like enough for the voice to crack. It's a real, it's a real unique. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I don't, I can't, I can't pinpoint it. I, I can, but I mean, like, it's in my head and I can't actually figure out where it's from. Nope, not you. Oh, it might be Dana Carvey's church lady. Hold on, hold on. Oh my god, I think that might be it. I don't know how to find... I don't know how to find that that specific noise, though. Oh, man. Oh, my God. That sounds like it. Because they're all, like, six to seven minute videos. And, like, I can't, I can't look through it now. When it dies, I mill five. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Well, we can't play this guy. All right, Logitech, I get it. I heard you. I understand. I can't see attacking into this. They just double block and neither guy dies. Mental Agony. Well, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So long, my last two cards. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. Michael B. has uh, successfully broken the seal. I don't believe in that myth. Yeah, well, we'll see when you wet your pants while we're, while we're playing Magic. What? That's not breaking the seal. <laughs> breaking the seal means once you start peeing, you're going to keep peeing. Like, you have to pee a lot more frequently. No, that makes... No, there's the other thing with drinking when apparently when you... Uh, when you break the seal, you get less drunk. Really? Is that the truth? I thought, I thought it was it like... true. Once you pee, then you're going to keep peeing because you, the, the seal. I don't know. Maybe I've just misunderstood that. Oh, uh, me and Melissa have not been together for about three years now, so no. Once an old boss tried to beat me for mixing Johnny Walker back t black 12-year scotch with Dr. Pepper, it was delicious. What did they do? They milled me? They milled... Haters gonna hate, man. That's true. They are gonna hate. They traded with a brush a bark ripper. Okay, that's pretty good. Like what mixing this mean? Mike is mixing with his finger, just to be clear. You want to experience the mouthfeel and how it feels in different parts of your tongue. Yeah, that's what I was right. That's what I was trying to do. But like, look at the you top of the credit library. Manifest one, then put the other on the bottom of your library. So you're basically scrying. You're getting the best. You're trying to hit a creature here. Manifest a creature. What did you say to me? I'll, I'll kill you. No. I'll hit you again. Oh, he's a pinky. I, I definitely get asked gut shot more. Goodbye, He's right, I should have used the pinky. Yeah, that's because you're amateur hour. Oh, that's a good... That's a good Larry. That's a real old man river right there. He's playing black, so... What was that guy doing? Phantom Centaur? Yeah. Wrecks your face. Oh. He's 5-3 with pro black. Um... 
it's a whenever it's dealt damage, you just remove a counter instead. Oh. And he's got three counters. Do you enjoy modern or draft more? I think I enjoy draft. I definitely enjoy draft more. But I think modern is probably one of my favorite constructed formats. Ghost of Johnny Walker donated a dollar. Howdy, Frank. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you to the Class C Drinkers Club. So on behalf of me and all the other dead alcoholics, welcome aboard. <laughs> Nice. Oh, they're just killing my things right now. That's really sad. Oh, and they deep froze this guy? Oh, boy. They had, like, the, literally everything. Something good. It's not good. No. No, it's not. But they have zero cards in hand. Yeah, but so do we. And they have a clock. <clears throat> Pour a drop on your hands and rub them together. What is even happening right now? These can't be real things. Oh, they, they paid. Of course they paid. That makes total sense. They have nothing to do, so. I got excited because I was like, well, there's no way they pay for the Bone Shredder because no one ever does that. Um, Monstrify. Monstrify. It was a Monstrify. Monstrify. That's to the tune of Mongoloid by Devo. Lagavulin is so peaty and distinguished just like Mike B. <laughs> what do you guys... What is the peat taste? What is what, what should I be looking for when it has this, this heavy peaty taste? Yeah, I don't know anything about peat. Wow, really? Jesus. Jeez. Oh, boy. If we're jumping on the nth and making you drink a $100 bottle, let's kill the four and start the party enemies. What does that even mean? All right, well, we got this gentleman. So, you know, in uh, two turns... Smoky, we... earthy, dirt. Smoky, earthy, men becoming... Ghost of Hungry Howie. Frank, you know it goes well with Scotch Tacos. Didn't see that coming, did you? Wow, I don't even know... Uh... If I'm drinking a fruity drink, though, like, I don't feel like it's... I'd rather just drink a non-alcoholic fruity drink, right? Like, at that point, I'm drinking a drink for the taste of it. And... Pete tastes like Band-Aids, and I love it. <laughs> oh, that's actually incredible. Pete tastes like Band-Aids. Oh, you're just gonna pump these somehow? Oh, you're just gonna ninja the D-Powers. Returning a Bone Shredder. Wow, your deck is actually incredible. I don't see how we win this game. Goodbye, my muggle. I will gain three. Look at that, I'm still alive. Joke's on you, Not buddy. Not for long. I'm dead. All right. I would sub what y'all drinking log of... What? Also, you already sub, check. Go how you like this. This is why I'll never let you beat me again. Uh oh, swamp walk? Yeah, get on in here. Get on in my dick. Well, he stays with you. I'm like your dad. Wow. <laughs> Favorite Got him. punk band. Got him. <laughs> Hey, Mike, who's your favorite fictional Mike and celebrity Mike? They burn peat to dry the malt before they mash it for fermentation. That sounds so technologically amazing to me. I just don't understand it. Favorite punk band for me would be Misfits. Not close. Not close? No. Man, everyone knows Misfits are a goth band. Okay, so you want a more traditional answer? Just look at them. Saying? Just look at them. They're horror punk. Ooh. They are horror punk. See, if it's not the Misfits, then I'd probably have to go with... I just got this little bit left, and then we're done. Maybe the Casualties? What's your favorite fictional Mike and Celebrity Mike? I read that to you. I know, I'm rereading it, thank you. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know you forgot it. My favorite fictional Mike? 
I don't really know that many fictional mics. Mike isn't really that much used in fiction. What? I bet you just haven't read that much fiction. How about Mike Mike Ruba? Uh, Mike Ruba. Favorite celebrity Mike? Uh, Mike Ruba. I, I don't even. I can't even think of any celebrity mics. Yeah, that's because. What about Mike Rowe? It's a dirty it's a job. Dirty job. Gonna do it. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, nailed it. He's a good one. We opened for them and it was amazing. Wait, what? I'm gonna say yes. I. Open for who? Opened for who? Misfits? The Misfits? Because that would be sick. You should be the one over here streaming, not me. It's a dirty mic, but someone's got to do it. Mike Wazowski, that's a good one. You like Mike Wazowski? It's a good one. Michael Jordan, that's a good one. Casualties, nice. Ooh, Michael Scott, that's a good one. That is a good one. That's a great one. Yeah, that's a good one. Ooh. Ooh. Can you still taste it in your chest? No. No. I don't think I've had enough, though. Well, you don't get that, like, burning aftertaste? I, no. I, well, I do. It's just okay. not... It's still not there. It's a dirty mic, but someone's got to do it. Mike Roch? Who's Mike Roch? Or is that Row? That's definitely not Roch. You know how to spell. Don't pretend like you don't know how to spell. Michael Scarn is a good one, too. That is a good <laughs> fictional mic. <laughs> Hey, man, watch your language in the chat, okay? Where are you looking? What Joshua said. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I thought that was your favorite mic. So, what was I going to say? Oh, I'm really afraid of running the 6-6 out there when they have both Bone Shredder and Ravenous Chupacabra. Some guys have all... Some guys have all the luck. Oh, Mike Alex Burton Cheaty. That's a good one. That's yeah. That's everyone's favorite Mike. That's literally just Alex Burton Cheney with a mustache, right? So driver for basically and bolster. Okay. I like all the three mana ramp spells that Wizards makes that just tacks on like a like a cute mechanic. Ooh, I was, now I got a two three. Ooh. I was a cute mechanic once. Yeah, boy, I'll take it. Some guys have all the luck. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just gonna play Reach Reach of Branches here. Next turn I'll play a forest and get it back. Oh now I get it. Mike Roch. Oh. Yeah. I see, I see. Leave leave him black and blue like a Petey Scott is sure. Chuck, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. <laughs> much love. Use it? No. I don't want you to block with your two three. That's a little callback. Which one? The the Dark Slick Shores. Yeah, you're right. Man, what if you get Coffee Strike from this? That would be hilarious. Uh, this is copyright Frank yeah. Laporte. Fantastic. Back doors like the core Lord order. Every deck he plays, I'll be in black board as well. Every week or so, Frank posts a video about some fly decks he inspects like in fact. It's on the TCG, some new recipe. Okay, I'm not reading that one. To ask just a bit excessively. Frank's always sleeping up treasures untold. Junk token hard list has a wreck control. I'm always watching, sipping on my fresh drink. I tell my friends they gotta come see my man Frank. This my man Frank. Yeah, this my man Frank. Uh -huh. This my man Frank. This my man Frank. Yeah, this my man Frank. This my man Frank. This my man Frank. Frankie T hits the moto. You be scooping fast, kill you off like the dodo. Want your games to last, take a photo. You should all just know though. Frank's blasting off, see you later, Han Solo. A week's past and Frank's back again, it's happening. Bursting on the scene like spores making sapling. My man Frank fly high with the vulture. Brainstorm, you can call him Mr. Mind Sculptor. <laughs> World wait, damn Frank, make the world shake. Articles posted every week, and I can hardly wait. I watch my screen fish bowling with the fresh dang. I tell my friends they gotta come and see my man Frank. This my man Frank. Drinking whiskey and listening to rap. <laughs> what a time to be alive.
Man, this is an old school joint. Yeah, I haven't actually listened to this in quite a while, so. It's good. It's actually really very well good. Really well done. In terms of like magic rap songs, I think it's actually probably one of the better ones. Not that there's a lot of those, but you know. Truck might. I'm getting there. I said drunt. Yeah, see, that's how you can tell he's getting there because he's he's a little drunt right now, guys. <clears throat> really, you had one card in hand. I was literally hoping you didn't have that, so I played this. <sighs> that's a good card. Lucky, 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 lucky. Yep. You think? Are you saying you're trying to say that Bone Shredder is a good card? Oh, that's a little boofy. You think I'm a little boofy? <laughs> Free him. Free him. Do they come to play tapped? God, crying out loud. Free him. You need to free him. The black one, huh? Yeah, I'm more scared about double black cards than double blue cards. Famous last words he said. Free little boofy. Did they just... Wait, what happened? What did they do? Did he play an artifact and it's not an artifact deck? <laughs> oh, it was this guy. So they manifested it into a... That was loud. Didn't think that was going to happen. Oh, they can sell 2x black cards. You're right, because of the stupid Voyaging Seder. That's true. Worst actual nightmare. Um, ha being on some kind of sea vessel... Getting trapped at sea and then being stuck in the water. Where, like, you can't see any horizons and the water is pitch black and you can't see how deep it is or what's below you. That's probably... The last of phobia. That's probably my biggest, my worst actual nightmare. There's a subreddit for that. What is it? The last of phobia. Really? Yep. For specifically, like, being trapped in water? Uh, just, like, the, the fear of the ocean. And also what's nice about it, in every thread in Philosophophobia, it starts at the top with the water, and like the text is on blue background, and then it gets darker as you scroll down. Wow. What's it? How do you spell it? Philosophophobia? I no idea. Yeah, I was, I was real close. I was one S off. It's right there. I read it. Boom. Oh my god. This is going to be... Just click on any thread. Oh, it didn't do it. Why isn't it doing it? Why is it not working? Maybe you lied to me. I didn't lie to you. I can't believe there's a, th a subreddit specifically like that. Something very similar happened to my own during a trip to Thailand. She lost it and climbed on top of me while we waited for... Yeah, that... Cr I can't handle it. Remember that time you took both my coasters? Would you like one back? No, I just want you to... Have you made any commentary on the Alex Burton Chini stuff? On my Facebook page I did. I mean, on like my, my personal Facebook page. Um, I'm going to do... I'll probably do a Frank Thoughts about it. I'll probably do that tonight, actually. And I'll put it up tomorrow for those on Patreon. I'm actually... I'm, I'm thinking of like making the Patreon podcast uh, at the $1 tier just so everyone can enjoy it. And if people want a patron for three, they can. But I don't like my content being behind a paywall, but I also do want to be able to... You know, get paid, boy. Yeah, I do want to actually be able to sustain it. So, I don't know. Tricky situation. But I think I'd rather just have it at the $1 and make sure everyone has access to it. And then, you know, trust that people will, you know, find value in it. So, Being left in the open water but being near a boat doesn't seem terrifying to me. That doesn't seem terrifying because you have a place to escape to. Mike B is a few drinks away from a PhD. <laughs> yeah, how did you how did you know the name of this phobia? Because it's all over the 
slash R. It's on the all tab all the time. It'll pop up. Jesus. It's... Uh, I wouldn't say I'm a month ahead. I actually do the August rent. Um, the September rent was for the rent. Like, because I pay in advance, right? So, like, the month, the rent I pay for in August is for September. So, that's, like, I'm on October now, which is for my October rent. So, I mean, it doesn't matter one way or the other. Like, it's helpful by, both ways. I will keep this hand. I said I'll keep it. Mike secretly knows all the... Pho That's his actual secret power. He's like... But I know all the phobias. I'll hit you again. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. <laughs> what is that from? Nothing. It's just me. It's who I am. Oh, a tune with Aether, eh? A tune with Hather. What? A tune with Hather. That's good. That's real good. You know what I am? Why is it October and spoopy? You just answered your own question. Have you ever been in October? It's the spoopiest month of the year. Mike, what's the phobia for holes in weird places? Oh, that one is not okay. Oh, that's, um... It's like tryptophobia or something? Yeah, it's like... That actually sounds correct. Tryptophobia might be correct. It's real creepy. It's creepy ass. Yeah, I hate it so much. It's actually disturbing. Had surgery today, hopped up on pain meds and your stream. Thanks for M. Tafoya, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Hope the surgery went well. Hope you're uh, recovering well. Thank you for the bits. Don't boof them. Don't boof them? Mm -hmm. What do you, what do you, who's, who are you telling not to boof what? <laughs> Just think about it. Just think about it, he says. Oh, yeah, I'm drunk. <laughs> are you really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can feel it in my head. I can feel it in my head. What's in Mike's head? It's weird when you're drunk, like, there's just a feeling when you, like... I've got a feeling. You move a little bit and your blood flows and it's like, hey, there's alcohol in your blood, boy. It's in your blood, boy? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, not your blood, boy. <laughs> We're having a good time. This is what I wanted. I wanted to gain that three life. Give it to me. Give it to me. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give hey, it man. To me. Give it to me. <laughs> Is the alcohol in your blood boy right now? Yeah. That's fascinating. What? All right. Well, this is like... It's probably like a third of the bottle, right? A good amount. Because this is obviously not. So it's like... Yeah, because it started like here. Yeah, I would say it's about a third. And I had a little bit, so you're... You're a little bit far into this. Yeah. Yeah. A 2-2 two -two floaty boy. Floaty boy. I'm actually just going to growth spasm here because I want to hit another land. I kind of want to hit a, just a mountain because I want to maximize our chances of hitting er, forests for our Everbark champion. I don't know if that's its name. Uh, Reach of Branches is what I meant. What's in Max here? I guess we could have kept this a red up so we could shoot them, but come on, guys. Come on. Who is your favorite guitarist of all time, and why is it Steve Vai? It's not Steve Vai, actually. Um, Who's he from? Who is my favorite guitarist of all time? Eddie Van Halen's a pretty good one. Oh, you're saying you're not going to fall for the banana in the tailpipe. I think we're just going to take this. God, I can't believe I, I can't believe I like, missed a point here. I feel bad about the decisions that I've made. In what my about... Life. Peter Frampton. I want you to show me the way every day. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, take it easy. I gotta stop doing that. Yeah, I agree with you. Jimmy Page is a good one. Maybe it's maybe it's Peter Frampton. Wop 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 wop. That was good. Although he did say wop a few times, which is racially insensitive. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. Making fun of the drunk guy. <laughs> but you feel special. I feel like you laugh like Fred Flintstone there. Oh, I will. I will take just stopping by to see if you missed me yet. Ghost of M19 Draft. Ghost of M19 Draft, thank you so much for uh, stopping by. I do not miss you, unfortunately. But I... Uh, oh, it's currently out of stock, even though you just let me put it in your heart. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Uh, even though I do appreciate your contribution to the to the stream. Uh, oh, God. Leave the stampede. Gross things are happening. That is one dude. I am okay with you leading the stampede into one goblin mog war marshal. I want you. The only guitarist I'll ever need is a cell culture of every great guitarist ever that I've distilled in my lab and will grow into the your guitarist. <laughs> well then. That is something. I could take seven here, I guess. I'm going to play a Mog War Marshal. Shoot him in the face. Shoot him, shoot him in the face. Bwah. I'm going to play this. We're going to play Bark Ripper. Oh, oh. Bark Ripper. Keep on rolling. Old Bark Ripper. And then we have enough for Puncture Blast on this guy and for a shooty on this guy. How many sub ultimate guitarists will he need to eat a, to eat to be complete? Andrew Barker looks like Mike B when he gets mad and hulks up. That's Andrew Mike B Ripper. How do you feel about that? He's just chugging water right now. You can't you can't unbreak the seal, man. The seal's already broke. Can't unbreak the seal. The seal's already broke. It's a really good song. Thank you. You're welcome. Struggle deals damage to target you the number of lands you control. Hi, boy. Hi, boy, 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 boy. They just have it all. They just have it all. And it's funny because Survive is actually great against our annual Bark Ripper. So that's cool. Mike is songing that he must be achieving peak buzzness. Everybody wants some. I'll just take your counters off. What are you going to do about that? What are you going to do about that? Let's make sure to shoot this guy before we... I can't wait to see how this ends up. I don't know what you mean. Do you mean the, the draft? I appreciate your investment in it. This is a two for one here. That's not fun. Well, that's pretty okay, though. Destroy a stupid flag thing. Oh, actually, I'm just going to kill this primal clay. How do you feel about that? No. Okay. Good. I'm glad you approve. <laughs> Made a little noise there with your mouth there. I heard it. I heard it. You can't fool me. You can't just take someone's counters off of the sh off on stream. Yeah, I can. I'll take whatever counters I want off, buddy. Don't. As initial cost... They discarded a forest to just kill that acidic slime? Dang. That's violent. That seemed a little a little hasty, but what do I know? What's your favorite Shakespearean play? Maybe Othello? I'm drafting all the fogs right now. My opponents, they're never ready. They never... I think I'll have one more drink, but I'm going to pace myself and wait a little bit. Can I play this guy at instant speed? I'll let's try at the beginning of combat. Okay, we can. That's important. I just wanted to make sure. Why can you do that? Because all my oh, that one. Okay. slivers have hey flashums, and this is a sliverum. Have flashum. Have my slivers have flashum. How you doing over there, man? You what? Look? I said, how are you doing? Drunk. Are you drunk? Yeah. Are you better or worse drunk than the tequila? Oh, I'm definitely not as drunk as I was in the tequila. I, I don't two, think you'll ever be. I drank, I drank basically a whole bottle of tequila last time. Yeah, right. That's fine. More or less. Probably more. Maybe less. Mm. 
This is definitely stronger, though. Because it took less to get me there. I mean, it's 50% alcohol. 43%. That's pretty close. What are you doing right now? Don't do it. Don't do what you... Whatever you're doing, don't do it. Oh, I asked you so nicely. Mike said, what's so loudly and with such... What? <laughs> yeah, he's... What? He's having a good time. I don't understand, bad man. They asked for the beta person, so I'll give it to them. I'm sorry. All you need is a cup, and you are good to go. For what? For another collection for your chair, Slenderman. <laughs> another collection for your chair. I don't think that's how that goes. Nope. No. <laughs> My God. Mike, do the corner store. What's the corner store? store? Uh, that's a sweet man going to the corner <laughs> store. Sweet man going to the corner store, picking up sweets, living on the streets. Living on the streets. <laughs> I didn't know he was homeless, man. That's, That's really very sad. That's, yeah. It is. I didn't know the, the, the corner store man was homeless. Sweet man going to the corner store. Oh, someone has to be. Someone has to be homeless? Yeah. Why? Because there's not enough money to go around. That's sad, dude. Unless the 1% donated to all the homeless, then they'd probably be fine. Who do you think the 1% is? Well, definitely Jeff Bezos. <sighs> Jeff, why do you do these things that you do? Come on, Jeff. My name is Jeff. Old man river, he don't say nothing, but keep on something. I don't know the words. Having to deal with this guy twice is pretty obnoxious. Yo, Mike, you need to read a book called Walk Away. What's it about? It's about walking away, stupid. Thank you. Wow. That's so, Got him. It's so in-depth. Yeah, I, I like really to give you... So much. I'm glad. I like to teach you things. It's funny because they drew this guy and we drew this guy. So it's basically... It's basically just the same situation. Just it's a typical on. situation in these typical times. To me. <laughs> they said deja vu. I'm like, yeah, that's what I was saying. That's what I'm saying, boy. Boop. I got my primal hunt beast. This card is also very strong. Five, six for five is no joke. It's about how people don't need to be homeless, among other things. So yeah, take that. Have Mike navigate a whole turn of this magic game right now. It can be like a little fun side quest segment. Alright, so... You want to play your 6-drop I don't in attack with your 3-3. Three, three. Okay. I guess Watch he... out. He's got Death Touch. That's good. We want to get it off the board so we can play this guy. This old man river. I'm just saying. Watch out. I, I heard you. You don't need to yell. What? What? Oh, oh, my God. Because <laughs> I wanted to. That's why I kiss him on the table. Isn't that ironic, don't you think? A little too ironic. It's like rain on your wedding day. It's like free advice. You just, you just didn't take. Why didn't you take that, you think? I don't know. And who would have thought it figures... Mr. Michael B. I like your commitment to this pre-order. Was man. afraid to fly. I'm gonna get it. He packed his suitcase, kissed, kissed his, his kids, kids goodbye. goodbye. When the plane crashed down, he said, "Well, isn't this nice?" And isn't it ironic? Or oh, don't you think? A little too ironic. Yes, I really do think. It's like Ray. I'm going to take this out forever. Like, how much alcohol have you had? Okay, so here's the bottle. Frank had, like, this much. I had, like, th this much. He's had a good amount of, of, of Lagavulin so far. It's like a rain. And you might be his face. Who 
Who's going to call up Hungry Howie's, boys? Probably Mike B. I'm drunk. Give me pizza. Bye. Click. They'll know what to do. I'm sorry, what do they do? What? Ho, 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 ho. Ooh, the, the combo. Combo's connected to the... Leg bone. That's a boring one. You're boring. Shut up. I'll hit you again. Don't make me hit you again. Mike, you handle your alcohol very well. No, he doesn't. He's a stupid alcohol. You're stupid. You're stupid. Oh, man. When I burp, I'm, I'm tasting it. It's got a... It's really... It's in the thing. Give this a listen. Oh, is this it? Go. I was also shooting a little cocaine. Oh. And I sort of, you know, stepped off the curb, man, so to speak, you know? And I went, uh, <clears throat> I became convinced that people were being tortured in the bowels of uh, the hotel, cremated, you know? So I. <laughs> God. I don't know if that's it, but I, I feel like that, oh, I feel like that's the closest one yet. For the. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That made my lips a bit itchy. I'm sorry, made your lips what? <laughs> itchy. Uh, that's, no, that's not what you said. Itchy itchy itchy. Yeah, it was like itchy itchy itchy. Itchy itchy itchy. Are you, why are you snapping? Is it a song? The itchy 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 song? Why aren't you snapping? God, that's a good point. I didn't even think about that. It's... Rain on Mike's wedding day. It's been long leaks as you look to me. Go on. Cock your head to the uh, side. I'm and sorry. Oh, all right. Well. I thought you'd forgiven me. But it's still been two weeks till you say I'm sorry. All right. One final drink. At least with this. I want to save it. Do you have anything else? What do you mean? Oh, alcohol-wise? Yeah. I think there's a little tequila left. I'll check. Yeah, finish that off. Flip ain't going to care. It's basically gone. Hold on, I'm having trouble standing up. Wow, already? This stuff is... It's powerful, man. Wow. Check out of China, the Chinese chicken. Have a drumstick and your brain starts ticking. Watching X-Files with no lights on. That's from the... I'm gonna bond. No. <laughs> oh, I'll choose this gentleman. We got a combo, boys. It's a combo time. Hope you don't have an answer. I don't want you to have an answer, but they always have an answer. Everybody's coming to town. Just these gentlemen, I suppose. I'm gonna block you. And if you want to pump, you can, and then I'll shoot it. Your little wolf man is gonna get shot. Shoot your little wolf man every day. Matthew R., I know what you look like, buddy. We used to be Facebook friends. But also, that jersey looks good, buddy. I like that a lot. One, two, three, four. Phantom Centaur. Got him! Mm -hmm. Used to be. Yeah, I thought you unfriended me. I didn't. Un I never unfriended you. Drama alert. Yeah, there's no tequila left. I don't think you ever block. I don't think I blocked you. I definitely blocked you. There's no tequila left. There was like a an eyeball was worth. Yeah, it was very little. 
Passion and get to his move. Didn't even go with London this time. There's a three for one. That's pretty good. I'm deal with it. I'm deal with it. You heard? Mike unfriended because he was Jelly Roll. I don't know what that means. Who did I unfriend? Your dad. That was right after he came back with the cigarettes, remember? And you were like, listen, buddy. Listen. I don't think we did either, but... All right, we'll save the rest for a rainy day. It's like a rain on Mike's wedding day. Still got about half a bottle left. I still got about half a bottle left. He's using his pinky again. Well, I was told to use my This pinky. is a lot. Mike has drank about $50 of scotch whiskey tonight. <sighs> Reminds me. I'm going to PayPal you. Yeah, do that. Do that now. 29 bones. 29? Yeah, because he paid 50, 107, buy by half. Oh, yeah, 107. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. cool, cool, cool. I forgot about the Man, you did better math than I did. I didn't even think about it. Oh, Advent? Oh, main phase Advent. Now I can entangle For next drone draft, I'll just uh, get something cheaper. And we'll save the log of woolen for, I don't know. It's like a rain. When you have a dandy. I think I really just wanted to experience what a $100 uh, scotch tasted like. And I, I, I got to be honest. I mean, like, it's probably great to those who really appreciate it. But I'm just not. It's not. Yeah, it's not a beginner. It's right? not a taste for me. What current artists? Uh, what do you mean by artists? Do you mean actors? Do you mean musicians? Do you mean visual artists? <sighs> or is I saying it a Niv Mizzet pack one pick one? Pretty sure it's just Niv. Uh, it's a hundred percent, hundred percent Niv Mizzet. Don't even be ridiculous, Matthew. It's not even a blue signal. This is how you got unfriended. If you got unfriended, because you gotta, you gotta windmill swam, swam, <laughs> windmill swam it. Ha 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 ha. Ooh. Are you okay? <laughs> the lemon juice really makes a difference. What kind of difference? Like is in a... Does it not a strong difference? What are you saying right now? I don't know, man. God, it's so hard to have a conversation with you. But then you get drunk and it's a little easier. Boom! Roasted! Oh, Jesus. Did I get roasted? Yeah. Your entire life is just you getting roasted, right? Well, the important thing is we didn't hit the the quarter mark, so it won't evaporate. We're good. These my shelves are graveyard into the library. Okay. I feel like this is going to sit in our shelf for ages. Is Are you making a defense to finish it all tonight? No. no, no okay, no. just making sure. I don't want to die tonight, so... I don't want to die tonight. We can save it for some people who go to Magianos with us. And afterwards we can have... Man, I wish we can go to Magianos more frequently. We don't have enough friends here that actually want to do that. I just don't think we have enough friends, period. Wow, that got real dark. I don't think we have enough friends at all. At least not friends that are uh, into doing that. Yeah, that's fair. Seattle, that that stuff that was easy as hell. Get Adam Kianaga, Casey Kianaga, Chris Furter, Chris, other Chris. Get all the good friends. Hit up the Madge. Good to go. Yeah, it was like 107. It was 99 plus the old seven bones tax. You guys should see if Felipe wants to come on stream and try some. Uh, Felipe, I don't know. He probably would, but. Well, it's a little late. You're a little late. Message him, I don't know. Got him. I wonder if he'd like it or not. Die, 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 my dog. Mike, you still living in Seattle, Will? Well, I was his roommate, so, yeah. Had you both been up in Florida? Uh, we both lived in Florida previously. And I moved back for... Uh, mental health reasons at the time. Frank moved back for monetary reasons, I believe. One lack of friends buck. Oh, that's the saddest buck of all. That is a sad buck. 
Wow, 70 bucks in New Hampshire? That's weird. I wonder if Lucan's has like a premium on. I wonder if they just charge more. What if at Publix Liquors it was cheaper? Uh, if there was that, if it was cheaper at any liquor store, I don't think it'd be Publix. I wonder if we could probably just, is there are still are there still ABCs around here? Let's look it up. Oh, ABC Liquors? Yeah, there's one off. I mean, they're not close, I don't think. I think they're the closest ones off Hillsborough. There's one off my dad's. But if you get on Hillsboro, that means you can have Korean food, which is delicious. I don't care about all that. I would challenge Mike each week on Taco Tuesday for a Taco Championship belt that we would have. That would be hilarious, actually. I would destroy you, man. Mike had 11 this past Tuesday, so... I could have had more, too. Wow. I want to take a trip to Seattle. Uh, Seattle was wonderful. The liquor's cheap in California? Hmm. Michael B. Part of me definitely misses living in Seattle. I just like the weather so much better there. The weather is nice. It's nice not having to worry about, uh, like you could live without AC and it was just totally fine. Yeah, I'll keep the sand. God, I need to get this dark still ingot out of here. Out of here. I gotta get out of here, Mike Nigna Dignit. Mike Digna Nigma. Yes. When are you gonna come visit Seattle? Kerwin, do you live in Seattle? Please don't skip my turn. Please don't skip my turn. Oh, do, 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 do. Please don't skip my turn. I think this is a better play. Really? Why? Because next turn we go three, and then next, on turn four we go five. Singing doesn't really do anything for us. I don't think you're going to be in the position to make play suggestions. I don't think you're going to be in the position to make play. Did he kill it? Yeah. Oh, he killed it. What does that thing even do? It deals one when it comes into play, and then they can sack it to deal one more. Hmm. Well, isn't that special? It's not. It's not special, Michael. Just like you. I live downtown in Belltown. Oh, man, how did I not? That's awesome. If you if we were friends two years ago, we could have hung out. Instead, we weren't. Okay, they're just going to kill all my things. I, I see what's happening right now. I understand. That's good, because now I can go two into this. And then this, please don't skip my turn song by <laughs> Please don't skip my turn. Ooh, do, 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 do. How you doing over there, champ? It, on a scale of 1 to 10, how drunk do you think you are? Seven and a half, eight. Seven and a half to eight. How, how drunk were you out of 10 on the, on the tequila? Oh, that was a 10. Okay, okay. Because you belong to the city. Two years ago, I was living in Tokyo. Wow. Me too. Me too. No. No, you weren't. You don't know me. You don't know my life. Has Mike been drinking the scotch? Yes. I have been drinking the scotch. Well, you, you left out just. Has Mike just been drinking the scotch? Yes. Only the scotch. Oh, wow. Stuffy doll seems pretty hard to deal with. This guy is trampled, though, actually. So that's pretty good. We're going to just trust that that'll do. That'll do the deed. Thank God for Trample. I don't know if we could deal with this otherwise. Oh, one indestructible creature. Tokyo Rain. Some stay dry while others feel the pain. Tokyo Rain. Remember that guy? Tazon Day? Tazon Day. I'm taze on the taze on days of dead taze on day. <laughs> Jeez, that was just incredible. And they have commander on Tuesday as well, man. Everyone's commander on Tuesday. Everybody. Yeah, taze on day followed me on Twitter as well, and I think the reason was he was trying to just follow a bunch of people to get a bunch of followbacks, and then he probably unfollows you relatively soon after that. Did you follow him back? No. Because I don't really care about... No offense to Tay Zonday, I'm sure he's doing his thing, but, like, I don't like coloring up my Twitter feed with things I'm personally not interested in. Which is why, like, it's not like Facebook where I can, like, I'll accept your friend request and then unfollow you or whatever. Because, like, that's just the courteous thing to do. Or, like, because, you know, you're trying to follow my content or whatever. But, like, on Twitter, like, if I just follow a bunch of people, like, my Twitter feed is literally unmanageable. I just can't. Like, there's no point to having it then at that point. 
Some stay dry while Michael feels the pain. Chocolate rain. This is this creature has to go all the way. I see Lagavulin in the title and walk in on this. Well, I feel like we gave you a, a fair warning here. Hmm. I don't really want you to deal damage here, but if you have a pump spell, you're probably unlikely to have a pump spell, right? Chocolate rain. Chocolate brain. Chocolate brain. My casa chocolate brain. Chocolate brain. Uh, I don't want either of these. Boop. Boop. Boopa. So when you follow me back on Facebook, that was just a courtesy. Uh, Zombub, did I do that? Did I accept your friend request, Zombub? I was sure what to expect, but I'm definitely not disappointed. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. That's what we're talking about. Oh, that is what we are talking about currently. Wait, so, Frank, I'm unfollowed on Facebook. We've been friends for, like... Uh, so, the thing is, like, whenever someone I don't know friend requests me on Facebook, if I don't know you, I'll, I'll tend to... Recently, I haven't. I Recently, I just stopped accepting friend requests from people I don't know, um, as you guys may have noticed. Um, back in the day, whenever I would accept a friend request from someone I don't know, I would accept their request, but then I would unfollow you. Because really, I can't, like, I, I, there's no reason for my feed to be, uh, populated with things like, oh, you know, my grandma's in the hospital, or my car broke down, or, you know, hey, I got a promotion at work. Because I don't know you, so, like, there's no, these things have no relevance to me. You know, or, like, you know, your favorite band, or, like, here's a meme, or, like, I don't know you, you know? So, I mean, it's cool that you want to, you know, follow me, keep up with me, see what I'm doing, whatever, that's, that's totally cool, but... Um, it's, you know, it, I, for me personally, like, you know, I have, if you, <laughs> right, right now I have, funny enough, uh, I literally have, my friend request actually thing is full, I think, and I have 1,000 friend requests, um, and I just haven't, meh. Yeah, and then I end up with people like 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 guys that I have to block, who just say stupid things, and I don't even know you. And then they're like, "Well, we, I'm surprised people even know you." And I'm like, "But I don't even know who you are. You friend requested me." Like, and then it's just super frustrating because I'm like, "Why do you exist? I don't understand." So it's just it's it's almost like it's like a headache, and and there's honestly there's just no value for me to to just accept random friend requests and, and then also follow that person back when I don't know you, you know? Josh, I sent you a friend request for obvious reasons. <laughs> so. Like, there's a bunch of you guys, like, in, in that I've talked to a good amount that I, I definitely have started following just because I feel like I do know you and, like, we talk enough that I, I feel like if, if you know, if I w I would go hang out with you guys, you know, like that's it's a it's a super cool, it's a super cool perk of, of doing what I do. It's a super cool perk. That's Mike's two cents. Blah, blah, blah. Just because I'm not a cool streamer guy, you don't want to see. All uh, it actually has nothing to do with you not being a cool streamer guy. It just had to do with at the time I didn't know who you were. Your name was a complete mystery to me, right? So, like, <laughs> you know, like, it's weird because I'm in a position where, like, you guys know me. You know things about me. You know things I'm interested in. Um, so you're following me based on that. But, like, you know, if Street Wraith sent you a friend request, you'd probably be like, eh, I'm good. I don't really need to know about your your Tuesday night, Street Wraith. Josh, take it easy, buddy. Thank you so much for the for the donation and, and for helping out with this uh, this log of Wollen. Hopefully, uh, it, it it went as expected. So, I feel like you're going to block here and play a trick, and you're going to block here, and I want it to kill you. So, we're just going to alpha here and see what happens. They have two cards. What are you I'm doing, smelling man? It. Might have to cut you off, boy. I'm just smelling it, man. I think I figured out who you were because, like, you're pretty obvious. All right, gains first strike. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. 
A feeling deep inside. You're gonna block here. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I have a feeling you got like neg three, neg three, which is why you blocked with this guy. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, so neg two, neg two, maybe, or an extra two damage. There it is. Okay, so that's that's what was adding up. So you take three, you go to one, and now we just need to draw like a magma jet or something. Magma jetu, as the kids say. How much drunk has Mike alcohol? It's a good question. Well, Solid question. Probably like this much. All right, so we have two guys. They have two guys. Unfortunately, they can easily block one of our guys, but they're at one. Spike Shot Goblin is lethal. We have Magma Jet in the graveyard. That card's obnoxious. Chocolate brain. Mike is only has a chocolate brain. Chocolate brain. Chocolate brain. Some stay dry while Michael feels the pain. Oh, that was a good draw. Pop it on you. You do 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 do. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So here's what we're going to do. That's not what we wanted to do, actually. Okay. I thought this was actually the... the oh, man. I thought it was the plus four, plus four. And we were going to go plus four, plus four. Yep. That's actually worse. All right. Well, that's sad. I am sad. I has a sad now. I just got a message from Elk Tears. Let's see what Elk Tears says. Just three owed and one 12 packs with this gas. Felt like I was playing a cube deck. It's got a Palaka Worm and a Bane Fire, and it's and it's teamered, and it's got a Vine Mare. I missed a bunch of oh wow! You just actually hit a Ravager after you play Mirror Smith the previous turn. All right, well this game is falling falling behind here. You okay? You alright? Nope. What? <laughs> you doing okay? Yeah, man. You look like you were watching that like it was sorcery. It is sorcery. Your mother is sorcery. Remember that time your dad got those cigarettes? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. Maybe? Maybe it's pretty good? I actually don't know. You can ring my bell, ring my bell. I think they've missed a couple activations of Stuffy Doll. Of course, now that I say that, they're not going to miss this one. Right? Like, turn 11, we played a mountain, then we passed. So let's go to turn 10. Cast, yeah, like, turn 10, they played a forest, and then they didn't do anything. Yeah, so they're missing just tons of activations here, which is nice. I'm just going for water now, guys. Man, alcohol is something else, right? I wish I wish I had a bigger... I wish I could appreciate it because it feels like I'm missing out. Like, it feels like people are really enjoying something that I'm not getting any enjoyment out of. And that's sad. Tell us the story on how you two met. We just... I like literally met Michael. We were just playing Magic at a card store. He was friends with some people and then I became friends with those people and then I just became friends with Mike after that. That's the story we tell people. Really, though, Mike was homeless and I... I Fed him and clothed him when he had no one else. And wow. Here he is. Realistically, I was just friends with Justin High. He was friends with Justin High, and that's kind of how we met. Puncture Blast is what we were looking for. What is he drinking? Right now, he's still drinking Lagavulin. We've gone over this many times. Thank you. 
Thank you. Do they have a thing? Do they have like a gain three life here? Because I'll be, I'd cry. <sighs> I'm super sure if next time we're anywhere in the vicinity of Denver, we'll do wine stuff. It'll probably be way easier. Well, I think wine is in generally easier to appreciate than scotch. Empty grind. <laughs> Oh, fantastic. Oh, actually, we're just definitely bringing in this, like, uh, Glissa Scorn or this Destroying Artifact. Like, you enjoy bourbon at all? I, I like some bourbon. I like some bourbon. I like bourbon, I like whiskey, I like scotch, I like vodka, I like rum. He drinks some whiskey drink, he drinks some cider drink. He drinks some songs that remind him of the good times. I thought Mike was Frank's kid. Yeah, he had me at three years old. I can't tell if people are serious, like, when they say stuff like that. I've been enjoying Oban 14. Oban 14? I don't know what that is. Because I'm not a Scotch gentleman. I wish we had something that destroyed an artifact that had hexproof or indestructible. But alas. Entangling Vines has not been doing it. I'm going to bring in Vent Sentinel just because I want to deal that damage. One bourbon, <laughs> one scotch, one beer. You're doing very good. I'm very proud of you. Thank you. Just kidding. Wow. Nerd. Got him. Uh, he's at my house because he's my roommate. How, how old do you think I am and how old do you think Mike is if you think he's my child? Because that's real weird. That seems like a very poor sense of time. Mike's iron jaw can destroy the indestructible. <laughs> you know, that's I don't feel like that's entirely inaccurate. This card is obnoxious. I'm not a fan of it. Frank is clearly 70, Mike is 21 tops. Yeah, this is his birthday. We got him some log of one for his birthday. 16 years. This scotch is actually almost as old as he is. Not quite, but close. Not quite. This sliver is real belligerent. My legs are jelly. Your legs are jelly? Yeah. What do you... Can you can you describe the different drunks from that one versus this one? Do they have a different feel to them, would you say? Uh, no. Because your legs didn't seem as jelly as you've mentioned them Oh, they were. This. If you'd pay attention to I was walking, like, when I went up to get to the kitchen, I was like, Ooh. Oh, I, yeah, I had to, yeah, I, no, I, I could tell you were, do you remember that time you almost fell out of the chair? No. You were trying to get in the chair and then you didn't make it? Oh. Yeah. Hmm. It was not your finest moment, I'll, I'll tell you that. Wow, it would probably be a mistake to admit the ages I thought you were. Yeah, probably, that's really weird. I don't feel like I look that old, and I don't feel like Mike looks that young, so... I don't know, that seems... I got a bit of a baby face. <laughs> that would be so weird, man. I can't handle, like, I can't handle the thought of you just, like, being my son. What, you saying my disappointment? Yeah, I would cry myself to sleep every <laughs> night. I'm actually 70. That's fantastic. That would mean I, at some point in my life I had given Mike baths. And that's that's the weirdest shit I could probably think of <laughs> at this given moment. Why do you even say it? Oh. <laughs> There's a certain cringe factor I'm feeling right now. I thought Mike was in his early 20s. I'm actually in my late 20s. I'm 27. Oh, yeah. You're double blocking here because I got this guy now. I should have waited to play that guy second. This is a good trade, though. Oh, no, you're not trading? Oh, you're just giving death touch. Sure. That's fine. All of these things are just, just fine. I'll trade one belligerent sliver for a mirror smith and a Mardu hate blade. 
That's within normal. Li- it's not. It's within normal limits for a parent. It's not within normal limits for a friend and another friend that are almost like not too far off in age. Like, that's weird. Here's comes some kind of dragon of some sort. A channel land or at the beginning of your, it's of your end step, sacrifice this permanent and attach it to another land or creature. Oh, that's obnoxious. So it just kills lands and creatures. Oh, wait, hold on. Enchanted permanent has at the beginning of your end step, sacrifice this permanent and attach it to another creature or land you control. Oh, I see. I see. Well, I can see that being unfortunate. That seems really obnoxious. You're younger than me, right? Uh, I don't. I don't know how old you are. And we don't really have to talk about my age. Again, like, I really don't like talking about my age for some reason. It, it seems to come up a lot, and I'm just like, why are we doing that? Like, why does it matter? I'm streaming. You guys are having a good time. We're having a good time. Well, we can spike shot our own guy before the trigger. That makes sense. Oh, yeah. It's 100% what I'm doing, but... One Mac, one Scotch, one beer. I'm 34. You can spike shot your own guy. Spike shot that slip. I'm 30, 31 in November. Can you stop killing my things? I would appreciate it. Oh, it's it's split second. Never mind. All right, all right. We'll just wait then. What? Alright, let it resolve. God. I can't even untap my land after this is on the stack? Oh, dude, tell me. I the, Realizing that there's no master plan for anything and sometimes it gives me anxiety. Dude, that, I 100% know that feeling. My god. Oh, wish I didn't do that. Oh, that's fine. I don't care about that guy. I'm not going to be blocking Ankle Shanker. Adam bomb, baby, Adam bomb. I want her in my wigwam. Remember that jam? Why didn't you soul bond those two? You could have death touched them and killed them. No, it's got first strike when it attacks. All right, they just—they're just drawn at all. No man, if you soul bond with the the Ventil Sentinel and you and you deal him a damage, he dies. You can't deal damage to creature the Ventil Sentinel. No, you deal it to him and he dies. <laughs> oh, you're saying shoot him with the death touch. Yeah, I'm making a joke. I get it. I get it. I get it. I have not been playing Fallout, but uh, it's pretty much always... It's my default go-to. I'll just randomly sing songs in the Fallout uh, catalog. Michael B, baby. Michael B. This is my friend Michael B. Let's get rid of your second black that should shut you down in the Cadillac. Burr, 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 burr. Michael B, I didn't play a land, so I missed out on the damage here. Yep, that's a good one. We're dying. We're dying quickly. We are dying quickly. So first strike and death touch, so if we double block it goes 1-1. One, one. That's really stupid. It's really stupid. Yeah, Ankle Shanker is a hell of a drug. You're a hell of a drug. Remember that time you uh, we gave we gave Vincent all death touch to kill them? He messed up, man. Why is an Ankle Shanker an artifact? Oh, that's a good dude. This is my gentleman. Just had a term, Tums for stomachache, realized backwards it's smut. <laughs> that's that's true. Wow. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> 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 you put a land from your hand onto the battlefield. Do it. Do it. 
Oh, I'm gonna float on over. Red Rover, Red Rover, let me come float on over. If they die at one, I'm gonna be real sad. Or if they win at one, rather. They can't die at one, because that isn't... how Magic the Gathering works. I'm gonna go put this away. I'll put you away. And I'll see you to the restroom. You gonna take a little boop? No. See, I told you, that seal's broken now, buddy. He's having a hard time getting up. A little bit. It's a real process. Want to give me your glass? Uh, yes. Don't don't drop it. I won't. Oh God, he says that. Oh, we just win. Thank you guys so much for watching. Nice. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed this beautiful Lagavulin and Drunk Mike stream. And he just left, so he doesn't get to see the ending. Uh, you can check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Both links are in the description below. And I appreciate any and all support you guys give me because this is the thing I do. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.